hello everyone this is like the part two or the continuation of the previous video i made about authentication and legalization of documents all right so that video actually popped up a lot of questions i mean i think that's one of the my videos that actually sent me or brought up a lot of questions from viewers from subscribers questions about authentication and legalization so i took it upon myself that i was going to make another video to clarify a lot of um, misunderstanding from that video and then some people actually quoted what i did not say in that video and that is why i'm making another one all right so that everyone can have an understanding of what i meant or what is supposed to be as authentication and legalization of documents so if you're going to study in any european country not all of them at this time but most of them require you to authenticate and legalize your document before you can actually put in for application of your visa all right so i said that already in the other video but i have to reiterate it again in this video so if you know that you want to go to study in any european country most of them about 80 to 90 percent of them will require you to have your document authenticated and legalized firstly you need to assemble all your educational documents educational documents what do i mean uh WIEC. That's your secondary school certificate. If you're going for your master's, you need, also need to add your bachelor's certificate, your transcripts, HND certificate, and then for some universities, they'll require you to write JAM. You can also assemble that together. Assemble all your educational documents, take them to Ministry of Education and have them authenticated. So for authentication, you actually need to watch my previous video on how step-by-step step, I actually explain how to go about that that's i took a case study for nigeria so if you're in Niger, if you're from nigeria you actually need to go to abuja have them authenticated the next place you need to go to from ministry of education is ministry of foreign affairs so for ministry of foreign affairs you now take all your documents that you must have authenticated at ministry of education plus your non-educational documents which includes your attestate or birth certificate and then probably your police clearance at the time to have them authenticated all at ministry of foreign affairs so when you are done with ministry of foreign affairs it means that you now have two stamps or two seals one from ministry of education the other one from ministry of foreign affairs on all of these documents then you can now take them to the embassy of the country that you wish to relocate to to study so i hope that is clear now i hope that i have clarified that ministry of education ministry of foreign affairs and then down to the designated embassy when i say designated embassy it means the embassy of the country that you want to study or you want to relocate to have your studies now let's look at some of the questions that people have been asking so one of the questions here i like to treat is do we do the authentication and legalization before or after admission all right so i do not really have a suppose um, answer or response to that but what i can say is that not all universities have the same guidelines so some universities will require you to actually have your documents authenticated and legalized before you put in for application to study while some of them will actually ask you or require you to hold on until you have your admission so that you'll be able to know the places to go for your authentication and legalization of your documents so i hope that is clear before or after depends on what the institution or what the university requires you to do and you also have to calculate properly on your own so let me add to that as well before or after admission when you do your maths calculating the timing for your authentication and legalization you realize that there are some documents you might not just um, ha um authenticate at the time for example documents like your police clearance you might not have them authenticated before admission this is because once you have your admission and then you need to put in for your application for your visa the police clearance in most countries like my own country then nigeria or i think after three months it actually gets expired and once it gets expired of course you cannot travel with it anymore you have to put in or apply for another one so i'll advise that you actually do your maths 
properly that's your calculation with regards to the timing of when to actually have your documents authenticated so you might actually have some of them authenticated before and have before admission and have some of them authenticated after admission but just need to you just need to do your math properly i hope this is clear as much as i can have them explain so another thing i need to also say for legalization area is for you to be able to know the embassy you're going to do legalization because ministry of education ministry of foreign affairs that one is a separate thing but you need to know um the embassy of the country you're going to that means you know that you must have gotten admission to study in that university you must have all the required documents especially proof of funds before you actually go to have your documents legalized at the embassy of the country you're going to so please take this serious try to do your calculation try to actually you know um fixing or arrange it properly before you actually say oh this is the embassy i have gotten this admission and this is where the legalization of my documents be done before i put in for my application of my visa and then i relocate to the country that i want to go to now let's look at another question here another question is is it everyone that must legalize their documents before they actually put it for the application of their visa all right so that video i i made previously i said that most countries in the in europe will require you to have your documents authenticated and legalized so um for some countries there are some countries that have agreements already with some european countries their citizens going to study in europe do not need to legalize their documents so what is applicable in this country might not be applicable in the other country so you need to actually find out what is applicable into your own country before you can actually go on with this process the next question here is what is the price for authentication and legalization i know that in the previous video i said some figures all right and i remember that i said in that video that the prices vary or will change i think i still also put it in the description box or i pinned it somewhere in the comment section of that video all right so for prices of doing things like this like authentication and legalization of your documents it cannot be a fixed price everywhere economy in most countries do not have um, stable prices for products or for commodities if i may put it that way so prices vary cannot be the same price every time So another question so what someone asks or sent me is does it expire that when you authenticate your documents does it expire maybe after two months to expire i remember that when that question came to me i had to make few i had to send few mails to some people who took their time to make an investigation for me and sent me a response all right so i can only speak for my country nigeria so if you are going to authenticate your documents uh, at Ministry of Education and Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The response I got is that it doesn't expire only if the set of rules or set of instructions are still the same over a period of time. All right. So if you have a certain rule in 2015, for example, and it still stands within or it still stands up till 2019 and you're going to dead in 2017 for example it means that you still have the set guidelines binding all of it all right and so it means that whether you have done it in january it still holds and you can still continue with the documents around june july so for for the expiration of documents authenticity of your documents is the feedback i can give you so to summarize all First things thing to know is that for authentication and legalization of documents it is required most especially for most countries in europe especially for anyone going for their bachelor's master's or phd in most countries in europe you'll be required to have your documents authenticated at ministry of education and ministry of foreign affairs and legalized at the designated embassy that is the embassy of the country you're going to study all right that is the first thing second thing you need to know is for the timeline 
or the time that you need to go for this process you need to find out from the country or from the institution do you need to authenticate it before you get admission before you make your application or after you must have gotten admission so that you can do everything at once and i don't get to misguide you or misinform you in this video so the reason why i'm saying that you should find out from the university that you're going to is for some people you might think that you will get admission in a particular country all right or in a particular institution and you must have already gone to the embassy to have your documents legalized and then in the long run you find out that you've not gotten admission it means that you must have just wasted some time and some funds all right so it's important that you actually do your calculations make your research apart from this video that you're watching contact the universities contact these institutions they will give you information with regards to this process for some universities it's actually good to go ahead with the process from Ministry of Education and Ministry of Foreign Affairs and stop there until you get your admission to study then before you go on to legalize it at their designated embassy in your home country. For some, you actually need to just finish up the process before your application, your admission comes all right for some it is after your admission comes then you now go on with your authentication and legalization process but i will usually advise that you actually um send them an email call them if you can and wait for their response all right they will not misinform you they will not misguide you on the process that you need to take on so that you have a successful application before you apply for your visa so my case study in my video in this video is actually for someone that is moving from nigeria to another country in europe all right so if you found this video useful so far please like this video click on the like button all right share with your family and friends subscribe if you're new here okay, and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss useful content with regards to moving abroad thanks for watching and see you in my next video